evidence emerges, proving midterm elections are likely to be a bloodbath. A new series of polls have been released that shed light on the upcoming midterm elections. If these numbers hold true, major changes are in store for Congress. So much of the left's hope is riding on the midterm elections. They know the White House is lost, at least until 2024. Countless local and state offices are firmly in the hands of conservatives. The only chance they have of clawing back some power is in Congress. Maybe, just maybe, they can win enough seats to upset President Donald Trump's plans. There's just one problem, namely, the Democratic Party does not have a platform. For the last two years, they've done nothing but obstruct needed progress. Their only message is hatred, hatred for Trump, conservatives, and a prosperous America. But, that hasn't stopped them from predicting a blue wave across key battlegrounds. The liberal media has been prophesying a sweep of major Senate seats. Based on what? Facts? Nope. More of their bogus fake news. A new poll just came out that tells a different story. In major Senate seats held by Democrats, up for re-election, Republicans are leading, and by a big margin. What's even funnier? Some of those Democrats are losing to unnamed challengers. Polls done in 10 states show very bad news for at least five Senate Democrats up for re-election in 2018, according to Axios. In November, a total of 33 senators are up for re-election. The good news for Republicans, is that 23 of those are Democrats. The better news for Republicans is that 10 of those 23 Democrats hail from states won by President Trump in 2016. Axios and SurveyMonkey polled all 10 of those states and found that at least 5 Democrats are in real trouble. Source, Breitbart. It's important to note that all 10 of the states, Montana, West Virginia, Missouri, Indiana, North Dakota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Florida, were won by Trump in 2016. That means the same voter base will be primed to support candidates that match the president's vision. Five of those states already have Democrats losing to unnamed Republican candidates, the primary still being fought. Montana, Senator John Tester loses to his unnamed Republican challenger 42 percent to 55 percent. West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin loses to his unnamed Republican challenger 43 percent to 52 percent. Missouri, Senator Claire McCaskill loses to Republican challenger Josh Hawley 44 percent to 52 percent. Indiana, Senator Joe Donnelly loses to his unnamed Republican challenger 45 percent to 51 percent. North Dakota, Senator Heidi Heitkamp loses to her unnamed Republican challenger 47% to 49%. Source, Breitbart. What's even more impressive? The president's approval rating in those states is overwhelmingly positive. That tells us that voters will be very eager to support the president and his party. They will be very unlikely to support candidates who obstructed the president over the last year, especially those who fought against the tax bill. Trump's approval is higher than Democratic senators up for re-election in six of the states, Indiana, Missouri, Montana, North Dakota, Ohio and West Virginia. Trump's approval is higher than his national approval rating in all 10 states. Democrats are defending 10 Senate seats in states Trump won in 2016. In six of those states Trump's approval is higher than 50 percent, compared to 43 percent nationally. Source, Axios. Keep in mind the inherent bias of most websites and firms that do polling. Even Axios tried to limit the damage, emphasizing Trump's troubles and giving hope to Democrats by writing, but, but, but. With the election many months away and final Republican opponents not set, these numbers are likely to change. Way to expose your bias, Axios. Even with their slanted agenda, the poll numbers do not lie. The fake news cannot distort polls enough to make Trump and Republicans look like losers. Axios might have tainted intentions, but they cannot scrub away what voters are feeling. There is still plenty of time between now and Election Day. But chances are, Democrats won't be able to do much to change public opinion. Despite the overwhelming bias within the mainstream media, 
people are seeing the successes of the Trump administration. More and more people will support candidates who promise to back his vision. Democrats, on the other hand, cannot promise bigger successes than what President Donald Trump has achieved. All they can do is feed into the hate and bitterness of their party. That won't win them elections. Elections.